Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron. This is Megatron. So first things first, let's go ahead and move him over to the side, and we'll take a look at the box. Uh, the box isn't anything special. Um, j just like usual, same, same side here, uh, same front. Uh, except it's got Megatron there. Uh, Megatron right there. Uh, he is a Voyager class. Got the Decepticon logo on the top. And on the back, it shows the different things you can do. Uh, you get Battle Master, you can add the little blast things to him. Uh, make it look like he's getting hit or like he's firing himself. Uh, it also comes with the directions. Uh, I don't transform this guy too often because the first couple times transforming him, the directions are pretty confusing. So I mainly just set him on my shelf like this. Now I did go over his transformation right before I started the video, or right before I started filming. Excuse me a second while I adjust my tripod. Get it nice and level so he's not uh, standing cockeyed. Uh, now, I really, I do really like this figure. Right off the bat, I want to apologize to you guys if you hear a little humming or buzzing in the background. That's my window AC unit. We're going through a little bit of a heat wave here in central Illinois. I'm not going to turn my window AC unit down. Uh, I don't have central air. I wish I did. But right before we moved in here, the central air unit shut down. Sorry about that. So uh, anyway, I'm going to try and correct the uh, buzzing, humming, whatever it is uh, in the background in post-production uh, with some compression. Uh, and maybe some pitch adjustment. Uh, see if that helps at all. But otherwise, I'm sorry guys, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Because even right now, my AC units can barely keep up. Even with them going, they're set at like 75 and, or no, they're set at about uh, 65. And it's getting so hot outside that they get up to around 80 in here with them going, so. Uh, you're, you're just going to have to be patient, guys. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so anyway, let's start. As you can see here, he does come with a sword, which I really like. Uh, and it does can transform into a gun. You can take the blades off. Uh, now, I do have a little bit of difficulty getting these blades on and off but if you turn them just right yeah. if you turn them where you can see right there you should be able to just pop them out like that there you have a regular cannon that can go on the side of his arm let's see. fold it back up all right so let's go ahead and start with megatron uh once again i have to say i really like this figure uh the transformation sequence not so much um the more you do it the more the easier it comes <clears throat> but he is definitely a lot better than the old G1 version of Megatron where he shrank and became a gun. Uh, that, that, that was just ridiculous. Um, I really like his uh, in the Go 90 series, the uh, Prime Trilogy. I really like how they portrayed him. He's really got an early Vegeta style vibe to him. Uh, Vegeta being from Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. Really more of an anti-hero. I've always liked those portrayals. Uh, that's what kind of drew me to Vegeta in the first place. And 
what has drawn me to Megatron. Uh, he's just, he's not a villain anymore, but he's not a hero. Uh, he is kind of out for himself in a way, but at the same time, he's not wanting to rule. He's more or less just uh, fighting for survival now. So anyway, let's take a look at him. He's got some battle damage on him, some scratches and whatnot, and he does come like that. So, we're going to go ahead and... I forgot. First things first, take, according to the directions, take these clips on his shoulders and fold them up. Okay, I forgot to fold them back down after I transformed him back. And then, <clears throat> take his hands fold them up just like that take his gun again according to the instructions fold it up like that once that's done you raise his backpack All right his arms unclip at the sides and fold back And there's a peg right here on the gun that pegs into this hole here. Peg it together. Then you bring the backpack up just like this. You fold. Hold tight just a second, guys. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. You fold the wheels, treads, whatever you want to call them, out just like that. And then this piece here folds down and there's like <clears throat> not quite a peg but it's a uh, little rectangular piece that fits right in that slot there on both sides <clears throat> just like that and then you kind of push it down so that because if you don't, Megatron's head's going to kind of be sticking out. So you push it down just like that. All right. Once you do that, take the waist and rotate it all the way around. All right. Now. go ahead and bring this back down well we'll just kind of angle it down like that so you guys can see all right so then you take the legs here pull those out okay bring them up to the side just like that and then okay fold them down so see that spot right there fold them down just like that one second, guys. All right. <clears throat> so then once you do that, at, you raise up the leg. And as you're doing that, you turn this spot here. Now you're going to have to hold on to this part with your other thumb and just rotate it around. Just like that. <clears throat> Clip that in. And there is right there that goes into that slot there if i can get it sit tight all right then you do the same thing with this side 
bring it up and as you're bringing it up you rotate it clip it in connect it all right and then once you do that you just take the feet fold them up And you got Megatron in tank mode. Now you can do this two ways. You can have it like that, which is how the instructions say, which has the barrel of the uh, cannon pretty flush with the backpack. I don't like that. You can also rotate it around and go like that. Now, I like that a lot better. That looks more like a tank to me. And you can take a sword, a sword cannon, whatever you want to call it, and there's no spot on the cannon itself to attach the other one. Uh, but you can attach it to the side. Just like that. Which, you know, looks kind of awkward. You almost need two of them uh, to really make it look cool. And, you know, the gun can't, the cannon can rotate around, which is really nice. Uh, you can also attach it to the back. Right there. Just like that. Or, if, you know, you want to have, have him look like he's cutting through some enemies. put it out to the side like that it's kind of cool but again you almost need two to make it look good make it not look so lopsided uh, but yeah or let's see can you put it in the barrel yeah you can add it to the barrel and make it look extended out Maybe even bring it up and have this kind of a tripod, which doesn't look too bad. Looks okay. I don't know. But there's a number of things you can do with this, really. It's not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, there you guys have it, the Transformer Siege, War for Cybertron, Megatron, and like I said, I do re <clears throat> really like what they've done with him in the, uh, Go90 Prime Trilogy, uh, animated series, really like it, like how they kind of turned him into an anti-hero uh, fits him. Uh, I Starscream really should be the main villain um, because he's just so power hungry. Whereas Megatron, it fits his personality to just not give a crap about anyone but himself and just be out for his survival. Uh, and if that means aligning himself with the Autobots to guarantee his survival, then he's got to do that, you know. Uh, especially when it came to going up against Megatronus. You know, he kind of tried to ally himself with Megatronus. Uh, he played it off like uh, two options, really self-survival and trying to trick him 
Now, I can also do something like that. That looks that looks okay. Uh, but he does roll around. Has wheels on the bottom. So anyway, there you have it, guys. Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Megatron. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a, a few, a uh, lot more of these Transformer videos. Uh, I know a lot of you really like the history and origins videos, especially my Highlander series. I have not given up on that. I will continue to do those, but as I've said multiple times, Comageddon TV is a place where all geek culture collides. And so there's a lot of Transformer geeks out there. I'm one of them. Uh, now, I don't really keep up on the history. I'm trying to read up more on the history and learn more about them. I just more or less like them because they're transforming robots. I always wanted more Transformers as a kid, but they were just so expensive. Uh, the G1 style, you know, they, they, were, they were still pretty expensive. Uh, even though they're kind of generic, <clears throat> they were still pretty expensive. And I really loved Battle Beasts as a kid. They were cheap. They're set in the same universe as Transformers. Uh, I think I had the whole collection. Every time we went to Kmart or whatever as a kid, I always picked up uh, a set. I think they came in a two-pack at the time. So my mom let me get a couple of them. Uh, they were really cheap, like a dollar or two. This was back in the 80s. And I loved the hologram on them, on their chests. Used to play with them for hours on end. I, I kind of wish they'd bring Battle Beasts back in that same style that they had before. I tried looking them up online on eBay and stuff. They're pretty expensive now, which makes me wish I would have never lost all my Battle Beasts. So anyway, there you have it, guys. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also. Make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.